Okay, what's going on everyone? Last one. Now, while this one isn't really all that special and um, really isn't even relevant that much to AMC and GameStop, I wanted to at least go over this because it's a really, really good filing uh, to demonstrate how you can use details of the filing to find out more information that you wouldn't have otherwise known. So this is uh, SR FINRA 2021-015. I'm Finra. Explain this to you, and let's see, we'll see what this is about. So basically, the filing timeline: uh, June third, it was proposed. On the twenty fourth, tomorrow, it will be publishing for comment, and then by the twenty fourth of next month, July, comment should be due, and uh, we should have a decision shortly thereafter. Now the purpose of this is to basically um, change the training requirements of regulatory elements and firm elements, which I'll go over that in a second, um, to be completed once per year instead of every three years. Um, obviously the times have changed, they're able to get their training done in a more timely manner. That's basically the nature of this filing. So what I like to do in a filing is if I don't know what something is and I highlight a lot of stuff here for the purpose of my viewers to be able to um, describe language that most likely you wouldn't know otherwise so things like regulatory element firm element um, you know super notes anytime you see a little tiny number right here that it's called a super note and there's going to be a note um, likely on the bottom of that page with a corresponding number that will explain in more detail what they're talking about so for example, if you follow these arrows as a line of research, you can see here that um, our first super note right here that is relevant is five. So once we go to five, all we get is C rule 1240A2. Well, that's where most people would stop and then they wouldn't really you know, know what that's about. So that's when you take this rule and you put it into Google and you look up the law book you just put them together. So you look up 1240, continuing education requirements. So we know we're in the right spot. A, lower in case matters, lowercase, regulatory element. Okay, we're in the right area, perfect. And then two, two, failure to complete, failure to complete, perfect. So we know this is the right rule and that's how you find out more information. And basically the failure to complete unless otherwise determined by FINRA any covered person who who have not completed the regulatory element within the prescribed time frames will have their registrations deemed inactive. So, and the regulatory element requires a registered person to complete the applicable element initially within 120 days after the person's second registration anniversary date, and thereafter within 120 days after every third anniversary date. So it's basically just their uh, their training requirements, nothing too special, but uh, again, very good filing to outline how you can use super notes and rules to really dig in and find out a little bit more about something you wouldn't have otherwise known so that's really the the, the trick is to just take these bits of info that, that if you're reading left to right and you, most people would just read it like skip over this they wouldn't even consider it part of the reading but if you actually just take a minute to dissect this it you know makes a lot more sense so this is the last one. Uh, this this is it. I, I've done all of them that were on the file that were on the docket. So I think that was uh, twelve filings total. So booyah! I'm finna go to bed now. Good night, everyone.